Welcome to the Cambridge Breast Center, a warm and comforting setting where patients can receive expert breast care. Our goal as an institution and as a center is to provide personalized care to everyone in need. From the moment you walk in our doors, you will feel cared for and supported. We get to know our patients, their families, their hopes and dreams, and their fears. And we treat them like they are members of our own family. Whether someone is here for a breast screening study, a biopsy, surgery, or cancer treatment, we are proud to walk side by side with our patients during their journey. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about us and our center. Here is what you can expect when you enter our doors. We have the opportunity to offer patients excellent care from medical oncology, radiation oncology, genetics, plastic surgery, surgical oncology, survivorship, social support. We have every um, piece in place and are fully accredited by the NAPBC. As the director of the breast imaging department, I wanna make sure that we are able to provide the same service to a patient that comes here as really anywhere else. And we have been able to keep up with that technology. So we have new machines. Um, all of our equipment has been upgraded over the last probably about five years. We make sure that we keep up to date with the equipment. And in radiology, that's actually really important because new equipment means that we're able to diagnose things that are maybe smaller in size. And the purpose of breast cancer screening is to be able to diagnose a cancer that's as small as possible because that's when the treatment is the most effective and the least harmful. What we really want to get across is that this is a small center. Uh, it's a very much a family feeling here and it's uh, we are, can take the time that the patients require and we make personal connections with patients and we follow them for a very long time and we really get to know them. The whole team sees each patient right at the beginning. Uh, so we have a multidisciplinary uh, clinic where the patient meets with the surgical oncologist, the medical oncologist, which is me, the radiation oncologist, and the nurse practitioner as a whole team. And so both we get to know the patient, the patient gets to know who's involved in their care, and then all the way through the process, all of us are sort of looking and uh, making suggestions and recommendations for the person's care. So I meet every patient right from the beginning. Because we're smaller, there's sort of easier access to our clinic, easier access to our uh, nurse practitioner, Carlene, easier access through my chart. Um, we answer patients very quickly and I think we just have a lot of availability and a lot of expertise. And we offer all of the latest types of surgeries. Um, we offer nipple sparing mastectomy. We offer immediate reconstruction. So I think we offer everything that any um, big modern facility would offer you, but in a smaller uh, community feel. I've been involved with the Breast Center for five years now when I came on board at Cambridge Hospital and have worked closely with several breast surgeons during that time. My role as the plastic surgeon is involved in breast reconstruction, specifically when patients are undergoing either a partial mastectomy or partial removal of the breast or a full removal or full mastectomy of the breast. So I tell patients that when they're undergoing breast surgery, specifically for cancer, and also considering breast reconstruction, it's two surgeries in one and the number one priority is to make sure that we've taken away the cancer. So my first and foremost concern is to make sure we're doing what's safe for the patient and that the cancer is being treated. Then after that initial evaluation, I'll have the patients come back typically a week or two weeks after just to go over what we already talked about, answer any questions that may have come up, and then come up with a definitive plan. In the meantime, since the patient has already met Dr. Moldrum and the patient we know has cancer, there is definitely a clock that's ticking. So we're also working on getting that patient scheduled. And we typically will say we'd like to get patients into the operating room within four to six to eight weeks at the max maximum um, after your diagnosis of cancer to get that cancer out. I mean, I think every woman coming into this office is frightened. Uh, hearing the word breast cancer is never easy. It doesn't matter whether you're 30 years old or 80 years old. Um, this is always something that's a very frightening diagnosis for women and, and their families. What we try and tell women is that, one, we're 
all here for them. This entire team is motivated to make sure that every patient gets care that is right for them um, and that we help a patient understand what their options are, what their choices are, and that they'll have a team step-by-step step taking them through this process. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what I was going to have done or if I was gonna make it out of surgery. Met with Dr. Meldrum. She made me feel at home and she put my anxiety level really low. She's like, you don't have to worry about it. It's not a death sentence. It's treated, you'll be okay. Working with the team here at the breast center was great. They were nice. They were always there when I needed them. They were always there to call if I had questions. They always answered me right away. Anytime a woman hears, or any patient hears the word cancer, so many thoughts come immediately to their mind. You know, not being able to raise their children, not being able to see their grandbabies, you know, not being able to be at their children's graduations. And so we really try to reassure them that this is gonna be okay. You know, that one day they're gonna look back and realize you know, how strong they were and just let them know we're gonna be with them, we're gonna help explain everything, and really that we see so many people on the other side that, um, that really can't believe how tough they are and that they can handle all this. They were always there for me when I needed help or questions, anything, they were always there.